Split Spaces Sims, and we are back with more Peel Fiore, and we're just picking up where we left off, fell asleep on the roof with Yang. Interesting. Okay. Anyway. Mm -hmm. I opened my eyes slightly and gasped. Yang's face was even closer than before. Awake? You were quite active today. C come to think of it, I think I reached out to him for warmth because I started to shiver. Was I the one that grabbed onto Yang? Uh, he grabbed onto you first, but... I I'm going back to the room. I hurriedly looked away and got up quickly from Yang. Do as you wish. Yang spoke in an uninterested tone. I love how he does that. He's like, not interested. Totally interested. It seems like Yang woke up before me. Is he waiting for me to wake up? No, that can't be. Oh, he was enjoying it. It's adorable. For a murderous asshole. Sure. About a month passed since I had been abducted by the Lao Shu. I hadn't been able to return to the church yet, so I was worried about how everyone was doing. And I saw Elena the other day. So many things were uncertain that I couldn't see the future. I wanted to stop thinking. I wanted to go home. Despite these, oh, those thoughts, I had no choice but to remain here. It's funny, because I'm pretty sure this is the, uh... <laughs> I've been listening to the soundtrack in the gallery, just like... When I'm not on calls at work, I'm like, I'll just pop it on. Why not? And I'm pretty sure this is either the... Falzone track... Or the Visconti track. I th at any rate, it's not the Laoshu track. Okay. There is, like, one for each, like... This could also be the... Maybe this is the sunny day one where you're, like, cruising. I can't remember now, but it definitely doesn't seem fitting for them. But Anyway. And today's tea is Da Hong Pao. Okay, whatever. It's pretty sweet and has a strong aroma. It's sweet and aromatic. Oh, so it's sweet and aromatic. It's just so good. This tea's rare and very expensive. Drink it carefully. It really does smell good. Lon and Faye poured the tea, and I arranged the snacks. Ah, uh, there were fried sesame balls, along with bocconato, that the twins requested me to make. Which is a confection from Italy's Apulia region? I don't know. Look, you know what? <laughs> anyway, the pastry is made of thick tart dough and filled with cream and syrup. Tart dough. Okay. Filled with cream and syrup. It's kind of one of those things when they say things, sometimes you're like, oh, I don't know how that would work. But then when you, like, try it, you're like, oh, I totally get how it works. I'm, like, literally, like, cream and syrup. Like, I'm sure it's not maple syrup. <laughs> that's, like, where my brain goes, because that's, like, all I know. Like, anyway. Look, I'd still try all these Italian desserts, all right? And I'd be, like, 700 fucking pounds. Just roll me out the door. I wouldn't be able to fit out my door. Never mind. I made two types of bacchanato. I don't know how to say that. Anyway, one with cherry jam and one with ricotta cheese. Oh, I was saying that, not reading it. Okay, I was reading it like... I was reading it as if she was saying it in her head. Well, anyway. Please help yourself. I'm not going back. I can't today. Ah, uh, it looks yummy. The sugar looks like pretty snow. Ooh, powdered sugar on it. Everyone reached for the snacks. Girly, your snacks are delicious as always. They look pretty good, too. You think so? They're not bad, but I prefer the snacks from the old country. That's fine. If you're gonna complain, you don't have to eat it. I'll eat it for you. It, it's okay, Lon. Everyone should just eat what they prefer. <clears throat> and that's the thing. Like, it sounds rude with him saying, like, I prefer the snacks from the old country. It's like, but it's okay. It's okay to have preferences. You don't have to like this. Like... Yeah, they're not bad. I mean, I prefer the rice balls because it's what I'm used to, but, like, those aren't bad. Like, if I had to eat Italian desserts, sure. You know what I mean? It sounds like he's being nasty, but at the same time, like, it's okay for him to, like, have preferences. Here, there are some sesame balls, too. You don't have to eat everything. Well, I guess so. If you say so. More for you, Lon. 
While everyone was arguing, Yang never joined in, quietly sipping his tea and eating the snacks. I'd made a few different snacks already, but he never once said they were delicious. However, he's never expressed dislike for them either. He just keeps his mouth shut, but he eats them. And he's like, God, I love this. She bakes and she snuggled with me. I'm like, stoic face, like, whatever, I don't like this. Totally likes it. Totally fucking likes it. It's a goddamn fucking jawbreaker. Little everlasting gobstopper. Ah! Like, you know, you'd break your tooth if you bit into it, but it's still full of sugar. You're like, I got diabetes. Yeah. You don't know how sugary it is until you bite into it, and then you're like, oh, all the sugar. I guess he likes it in his own way, or maybe he doesn't care about the taste. Come to think of it, Lon and Faye, do you know where Orlock went? I was going to invite him today, but he seemed not to be in his room. He lives here. <clears throat> Beat me. Lon, girl. Not the person you should be saying that to. Just kidding. <laughs> One typo, man. I know. Beats me. He leaves from time to time, so he's not around every day. Don't worry about that guy. I'll let him do what he wants. I still couldn't help but care about him. He used to pray at the church a lot. I don't think he's a bad person. But it's not like I'm close to him either. Have you ever heard of a person to whom the angel left the message? I remembered he asked me that very intently back at the church. He must be very devout. <laughs> After I was done serving, I looked up and my eyes met Yang's. His gaze and demeanor told me to come. My god, you're already like, he just looks at you and you just know. Oh, that means go over and sit on his lap. My god. You were like trained. <laughs> We're trained. Ah, oh, fuck. I hesitated, but walked over. He pulled me close and made me sit on his lap as usual. This has become the norm, so none of the Lao Shu made mention of it anymore. These snacks are all so tasty. I'm so happy. I think you've been gaining weight, Lon. That's not true. Yang, about the next deal, we'll be ready soon. I see. I bet that's something I can report to the yappy bastards. I'm currently waiting on word from the mainland. Everything should proceed accordingly unless something happens. I stayed silent, minding my own business. I was on Yang's lap when he looked at me. <sighs> you didn't eat anything. Huh? Eat something too. But I feel bad eating on top of your lap. I might dirty your clothes. You always eat on my lap. That's only when he forced me to. I couldn't possibly say that to Yang. Not in front of everybody. I gave up and chose a snack. I wonder which one will have the fewest crumbs. I chose a bun with meat in it that looked easy to eat and started to nibble on it. It was perfectly salted and the ground meat and tea together gave it a refreshing taste. I'm getting used to this. <laughs> I'm getting used to this awkwardness sitting in this man's lap while he's like kind of a cold bastard. Hmm. Of course, I'm still scared of Yang, and not always comfortable, but... Look over at Yang, that's a, that's a wrong choice. I mean, it doesn't lead to a bad ending or anything, but I just want to... I, I'd be like, look at him. <laughs> Oops. I listened to what Yang and his men were talking about. Is Lee involved in the deal this time? Well, yes, this time Lee handled all the negotiations, so things proceeded smoothly. Lee... That man was the one who Elena's with. I wonder how she's doing. I was so anxious that I felt depressed. I prayed for Elena's safety. Hey, Yang, you seem to only be eating the snacks she's made. You like it that much? Oh, we want some too, but you'll eat it all. I can eat more than Western pastries. Hey! Yang used his chin to give me a command. Huh? This? I was confused, but tried handing him the, steam bun to ha the steamed bun I had in my hand. Without thinking twice, Yang picked up my half-eaten snack and put it into his mouth. Ah! You guys pretty much kissed! I mean, he's already kissed me, so it's not like this is weird. Woohoo! You're so in love! Since when did you guys get so close? You need to tell me these things! What? We're not like that! 
What? You want a real kiss on the lips then? Yeah, but... I mean... No, thank you! Yang played it cool and peered into my eyes. At this rate, he may really kiss me. He already did on the roof. Did you forget that? I think she forgot it. She's blocked it. I rushed to get off his lap and gathered all the empty cups on a tray. I'll go pour us some more tea. With that, I left. Did Yang change? Or did I? Although it was small, I felt it signaled a change about to happen. At least, I felt that what we had, I felt that we had become closer than ever. If it's now, could I consult him about Elena? At night, Yang didn't return to the room, despite the late hour. I decided I wanted to talk to him, but I couldn't just wait around for him to arrive. I headed to the rooftop. Not gonna lie, I kinda hate it when there's no background music in the game, because... I just had to redo the last, like, 30 seconds because my thing was skipping and I didn't notice because there was no music until I got to here and then I was like, shit, I can hear the music skipping. I do not know what is wrong with my fucking capture card. So I'm sorry if there have been times that I have not caught and the sound has been skipping and, like, you hear... Because uh, 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 uh. I don't know what's wrong. It's not the game. The game is perfectly fine. It's my fucking capture card. Or it's the software, and there's no update available, so I don't know if it's just I've had this capture card so fucking long I need to just get a new one. I don't know. But it's, like, driving me fucking bonkers, because I never had this problem before. And, like, and now I'm, like, wondering, too, like, is it, is it this fucking computer? Because, like, the last time it happened, it was because... Like, Adobe was updating in the background, so I was like, oh, okay, when my computer's doing updates, it's doing it. But nothing is updating. I turned off automatic updates because I didn't want it to fucking be doing that and fucking this up. Like, there is literally nothing running on my computer but this. And, like, so I have no fucking idea. Like, and I'm trying to think, well, no, because we didn't have this problem. It's recent. Because we didn't have this problem at all recording Color X Miles Unlimited, and I did that on this computer with the fucking same capture card. So, like, what the fuck is wrong with this thing? Like, I, like, I don't fucking know. I don't know why it hates this game, but like, because it's, I mean, it's obviously not the game, because then the game music would skip. I could understand that, but my voice wouldn't be. It's the capture card. So, like, I, no fucking idea. Anyway, so I'm sorry. I'm really sorry if it's been like that. I know I've caught it a couple times. I had to overdub one part because I didn't catch it till the very end, but... And I try to sometimes click through the video and, like, listen to parts and just make sure it's not. But I can't... I don't have the time to watch a whole entire hour just to make sure it's not doing it. That's why, I like, I have the music cranked in my ear so loud so I can hear it, but if there's no music, I don't know that it's skipping. So, so, I'm sorry, this is a clusterfuck, but hey, I guess now you have to pay attention and read yourself. I don't know. Anyway, Yang's shadow emerged under the starry sky against the backdrop of shining neon lights. There's no way Yang wouldn't know I was here. However, he never once turned around. It reminded me of the first time we met. Why do you always come to the rooftop? No reason. I just do what I want. I don't need to make excuses for every little thing I do. If you want to know why I do things, use your head and ask yourself. Yang spoke in an obstinate way, unwilling to explain his actions. Yang, I heard that much, and I think I understood. During my days here, it did seem like Yang was living in the moment. It was evidenced by his intense mood swings, which he had no desire to control. So, why did you come here? Bird, what the fuck? God, could you, like, ever fly without screaming like an asshole? God. It's, it's just because the music is so loud in my ear and then I listen to the bird. Like, ah! Oh my god, just fucking fly without screaming. <laughs> He's obnoxious. Anyway. So, why did you come here? I know you're not lonely sleeping alone. I wanted to talk to you about something... About my friend who was at Lee's. I chose my words carefully and explained to Yang the situation Elena was in. 
After hearing me out, Yang looked away and thought, So are you asking me to save that woman? I thought you were the only one who could. And there's no reason to do so. I was hoping my relationship with Yang would help, but I was shown how naive I was. Besides, her situation could be worse. What do you mean by- I'm going to bed. Let's go back to the room. Yang didn't answer me. He grabbed my arm and pulled me away from the rooftop. Yang ended up not telling me anything more than that. The following day, Lon and Faye took me to walk around Valeno. <laughs> Running errands together like this is fun, isn't it? Yes, it's a good way for me to get my mind off things. We chatted as we walked. I'm sorry, it just went dead silent and it freaked me out because I was like, what? Okay, sorry. We chatted as we walked when suddenly we heard someone yelling on the other side of the street. What's going on? It sounds like a fight. Lon, do you know who they are? A man with bloodshot eyes was shouting something at a boy. Hey, you just stepped on my foot. What? I told you I didn't. You're lying. I know you stepped on me. You stole my drug. What? What are you talking about? Hmm, I don't know. Neither seem to be Lao Shu's men. I thought so. Then let's leave them. We gotta run errands. You shouldn't keep looking. It'll only be worse to get involved. R right. I nodded awkwardly and followed the twins. But I just couldn't help but worry that the two of them are about to get into a brawl. Especially if it's a boy. Like, a young kid? Like, this crazy dude's gonna beat up a kid? Hey, is there anything you want to buy today? A book or something with a panda? Just some ingredients for our snacks. I don't eat anything else. Really? You don't have to hold back. Yang gave me a lot of money. He has to provide for you since he's keeping you. You have to have what you need. Do you think so? He's keeping you. Huh, well, that's... Good thing. I guess I need a collar and a leash. What the fuck? Yep! As we walked, I saw someone lying in the middle of the road. Uh... Space, and they're dead already. I was about to run over to the person when Faye coldly stopped me. The man had blood coming out of his mouth and a frozen, anguished look on his face. Uh, this is because of the red peony. He took too much. Just, it always worries me when there's no sound. Like, in music. Seriously? There's so much of it going around lately. Whoa! What's up with this dead body? Oh, that was boy. What's up with this dead body? Yeah, I saw him shouting earlier, but then he started to feel pain. In the end, he bit his tongue, and now he's gone. Jeez, I just lost my appetite. All right, let's hurry and finish our shopping. We'll be late for yum cha. He ended up like that because of drugs? I thought about Elena. Dun, dun, dun. What? Don't we already know who he is? Or have we just never seen him? Okay, I... Exactly. Hello. <laughs> He's standing the exact same way. Um, it's this, this, The tilt of his head is obvious in the swoop of the hair, even though he's like, that's clearly a wig, sweetie. Because you can't just chop your hair and grow it that long. But anyway. um, Maybe it's because when he was talking to Lee, we hadn't seen a sprite yet. In this route. Because I was like, we already know who Dire Torre is, but I guess technically not. Anyway, Senor Redford, Senor Falzone has arrived. Oh, we're Gilbert. Uh, Casino Dire Torre led Dante into the room. Yo, Dante, I was just thinking I needed to reach out to you. He looked at the Dire Torre. Dire Torre. I can't say it in Gilbert's voice. I can barely say it as it is. Anyway, who bowed deeply and left the room. Judging by your expression, I believe you already know what this is about. Yeah, something tells me there'll be no end to the trouble in this town if we allow the Lao Shu to do whatever they want. Exterminating the rats may be more effective if we team up with the Falzones. What do you think, Dante? We can't ignore them anymore. That's my answer. 
Interesting. It's not about Elena. In that moment, I saw him as her. Elena, please. I wanted to save her somehow. I suddenly felt anxious, realizing that the time Elena had left was limited. Another day, it was time for Yum Cha. Today's tea is... Shoes. I can't pronounce that. Anyway, tea. It smells sweet, but it tastes a little bitter. And so it balances itself out. I made Turalia. It's simple but delicious. A hard-baked bread adored in Italy's... It's at Apulia again? Oh yeah, I can barely read it because it's over her face and it's light. Anyway. And Campania regions? Hmm. It's doing it again. Alright, I... I don't know what's happening, but I'll be back again. Okay. Well, I don't know. If it keeps doing this, we're gonna have to go back to the default fucking way that we had to do this when we recorded Ayakashi Koegi Kyoku and we had to have everything plugged in and use my action software to record off of the capture card image because there's no other... And it's like, you shouldn't have to do that. The capture card should work. But that, I had problems with the sound just didn't work at all. But we did Color X Miles Unlimited and it was perfectly fine. That was also my switch. It's not... And it's not my computer, because, like, I was trying to, like, I had to stop. And for, like, ten minutes, I'm looking for help topics, doing everything. And it's like, could be your computer, maybe your computer can't process. I have 64 gigs of RAM, it's not my fucking computer. Like, I, I have 500 gigs of free space. It's not my fucking computer. I've had less than this recording thing. That's not my fucking computer. Like, I don't know. So I'm like, all right, well, I set it up so that when this is running, my computer will run in performance mode. Maybe that'll help. I don't know, but I'm at my wit's end because it was one thing when it would like happen once and then, okay, it happened a second time. Now it just keeps happening and it's like, again, if there's no background music, I don't know that it's happening. So I'm sorry. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I might have to just start recording with action and just... Because I have to have the Elgato plugged in to be able to see, to for the game to even show up on my computer. Like, otherwise it just doesn't. So it's like, I have to have it plugged in. So then I've got to use another recording software to screen capture off that. But at least it won't skip and the sound will be fine. Just fucking no. So we'll try this and see. So sorry if this part's like all fucking over the place or is too long or too short. Because I have no idea what the fuck is happening. This is like the third part that I've recorded of it. Anyway... I made Turalia. It's simple but delicious, and I don't know if the terminology part worked, but it's a hard-baked bread adored in Italy's Apulia and Campania regions. Okay, something like that. Whoa! Didn't that look so good? Let's eat! Ron and Faye immediately reached out for the Turalia. The two were eating quietly when suddenly they looked at each other. Space? Do you feel sick? Huh? This is a little burnt. But only a little. It's not like we can't eat it. Actually, it has a nice aroma, so I think it's good. I like it. But it's the first time you've ever burned anything. Is something wrong? I was like, did we poison this? <laughs> it's funnier. Are you sick? I'm worried about my friend. No, I'm fine. It's nothing. Thanks, you two. Is that so? Okay. Others. I don't know what's going on, but she seems a little glum. A reason for her to feel down. I've got it. It must be love. Mm, from what I see, I don't think that's it. Maybe because she hasn't gone out much lately, she's starting to feel depressed. You think so? If I remember correctly, we just went out with her yesterday. Well, if that's what you think, maybe you can invite her to go shopping, Lon. Hmm, that's not bad, but... Oh, I've come up with an even better idea. A boat date. That's so romantic, don't you think? I really hope this isn't skipping. Because I don't want to have to fucking overdub it. 
I think I know what you mean, but I don't think it'll end up being that romantic. Tempted to start recording on my fucking capture card and on my other recording software just to fucking see what happens. Like, By the time Yum Cha was served, a few men had entered the cafeteria. Cafeteria? Well, the dining hall? Among them was Lee. He must be joining today's meeting. Everyone began to sit down, but there seemed to be some time before the meal started. I took a deep breath and approached Lee, who was standing near the entrance. Um, may I ask how Elena is doing? You're from the other day. Ah, that's right. You knew that woman, didn't you? She's still at my place. She's a convenient toy. She's giving me a good time. Bird fucking A! His answer made me dizzy. Please, let her go back to the church. Go back? She seems to be having a good time, especially since I'm taking care of her. But Elena's... If I return her, I won't have a toy anymore. Are you going to take her place? What? If you're going to come to my place in her stead and show me a good time, then... I guess I can let her go. What do you say? I didn't know what to say. Punch him in the face is what you say. <laughs> you understand. Your act of bravado was fueled by an empty sense of justice. You don't even plan on sacrificing yourself. You best keep your mouth... out of my way. Oh, I didn't know when Yang had arrived, but he was standing behind Lee. Well, Lee looks pissed. Enough with your prattling. Hurry and sit. Y yes. Lee answered to Yang and rushed to sit down. Yang sat down in his chair and looked over at me, motioning for me to come. Did he just save me? There was a chance that Lee really was in his way, but it felt a little like he saved me. Yeah, because he kind of fucking hates Lee, so... As soon as everyone sat down, Yang started to talk. I'll handle the next deal. Huh? B but you said you'd leave everything to me because the motherland was annoying... And you want to join the deal now? What's gotten into you? I've put it all on you for a while. Why don't you take a break for once? I'll take over your job. I'm telling you I'll take over this deal. Why aren't you happy? Is there some kind of problem? N no, not at all. Hey, hey, excuse me! If Lee isn't going, I want you to take space with you. If she's your woman, she can be there for the deal, right? What? M me I was startled at the twins' sudden suggestion. Being present during a mafia deal was something I wished to avoid as much as possible. Very well. What? Uh, um, I would rather stay behind if possible. However, you two will not need to accompany us. I don't need a guard. Yang ignored me and spoke to the twins. Aw, that's boring. I wish I could go too. And don't complain. Besides, you are going to be present at the deal anyway. Okay, we'll stay behind. Lon sulked, sounding disappointed, and the topic shifted to business. Birds making weird noises. The little bird, the big bird sitting on my shoulder all snugged in my neck. Yang received a few more reports, then the meeting was over. Some left promptly, some stayed behind. The reactions were varied, but... Lee looked troubled and immediately returned, taking his men with him. Hey, come here. Yang, what's the matter? Oh, what is it? What is it? Yeah, you need us, right? I don't know what for, but you need us, right? Leave it to us! The twins happily came over and Yang took them outside of the dining hall. I still couldn't gather my thoughts. Oh, he's gonna... Oh. Oh, okay, no, this is Lee. Okay, I was like... I was like, oh god, is he gonna yell at them? Lee? Oh, good! Welcome back! I've been waiting for you all this time! So noisy. Shut up! Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Lee. 
Sorry for not being a good girl. I said shut up. Can't believe Yang's going to the deal. That messes up my whole plan. Can't have him learn about that. I need to cover it up. I need something. Lee? Damn it! Damn you, Yang! Did he punch fucking Elena? Because he's pissed at Yang? Oh god. I still couldn't gather my thoughts. Why would I be going? With my thoughts still muddled, I started to clean up after the meal. We might have made it 10 minutes with no skipping. I'm not really sure. The worst part is, is like, my sound looks like it's fine. It's the recording that's not working, so I don't know. Two days after the meeting at the base. Whoa! The ship carrying us from the quiet night harbor departed offshore. The boat rocking, the waves crashing. It was all new to me. The deal was on a boat. I muttered to myself when suddenly Yang took my chin and forced me to look at him. Oh! Another CG. He actually looks, like, happy. He's not angry looking. He actually looks like, hey, like, totally normal. That's so, he's so adorable. <laughs> I love this cold bastard. I fucking quit. I'm done. I'm fucking gonna, I'm just done. I just, you know what? I, <sighs> <laughs> we had problems with the Elgato capture card. As soon, I swear to God, it just does not. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, it maybe it is this fucking computer. I don't know. It worked perfectly fine during Color X Miles Unlimited, but when I first loaded Elgato onto this computer, I had so many problems, and I was like, "What the fuck? This computer's like way better than my fucking old one." I don't know why it wasn't working, but the sound was like shit, so I had to use. Like I said, I had to get my action software. I have to, like, screen cap the fucking Elgato screen... I have to screen cap the screen cap of the fucking capture card. The like, what the fuck? But I had to do that for other games because the sound was so shit. Like, if you turn the commentary on. And, like, hi, I need to record the fucking... my voice. And, like, now I'm literally back to that situation where we've got the Wii plugged into the capture card, which is plugged into the computer. So it's in there in the Elgato capture software, but I have to screen cap that with my other recording software. So, you know, fuck my life. I, because every 10 minutes it's like, Oh, it's skipping. You can hear it skipping. Gotta fucking stop. Gotta check. Gotta go back. I don't, I can't. Before it was happening at, like, at the end of an hour, and you're like, hey, or we'd I'd recorded, like, two parts, and I'd be like, oh, okay, well, maybe just can't handle two hours worth of recording. No, can't handle ten minutes now. Fucking done. <laughs> so I'm sorry. This part's been a clusterfuck. And, like, hopefully this scenario fixes it, but, like, I swear to fucking God I give up at this point. I don't know. I just, I don't know what to do. Like, aside from this, which is, like... Seriously, it's like the freaking coat hangers with freaking tin foil on it as an antenna to try. Can't get the cable to come in right. Wait, no, Timmy, just stand there. Leg up like you're a little teapot. Okay, wait a minute. Hold your toe like that. Okay, no, don't blink. No, you blinked. You fucked it up. Now we can't get cable anymore. Like, I swear to fucking God. It's like people had to do that shit back in the day. And you're like, this is like this. I had to like finagle. This is like I'm fucking MacGyver in this shit. Like, what? I shouldn't have to do this. The balls. It's not my computer. <laughs> like, it shouldn't be. My fucking computer. I don't... So, I don't know. I mean, I've had the Elgato capture card for, like, five fucking years. So, like, maybe I really do need a new one. Maybe it's just time. It's one of those, like... <sighs> All right, I'm gonna whip out my fucking old age, so be prepared. They just don't make shit like they used to. I got pissed last night. Well, not pissed, but I thought it was actually funny. Because, like... A week or so ago. I was like, oh, my lava lamp's not on, even though it's like plugged in and it's on the remote and I turned all the things on. So I was like, oh, the bulb must have burned out, right? So I lifted up the thing. To oh, oh, no, the bulb comes back on. Oh, okay, fine. Cool. Whatever. Maybe it's going. The last couple of days, it must not have been on because I looked yesterday. I'm like, oh, my lava lamp broke. And I'm sitting there thinking and I was like, what a fucking piece of shit. The bulb fucking stopped working 
in my lava lamp that I've had for like 25 fucking years. What the fuck? My lava lamp's older than some of your asses. Okay? That's sad. And, but I was laughing in my head because I'm like, I officially become fucking... Okay, my DVD player with my CD DVD player. It's a five disc changer. They don't make those anymore, sweetie. That fucking thing's still going and that thing's like 25 years old. It's just really sad when you have fucking shit and you're like, wow, it's older than people I know. <sighs> and I've had this shit and it still works. But this goddamn capture card after five fucking years, like, ah, fuck it. I don't work anymore. Are you... I'm gonna... Look, my lava lamp, every once in a while, you gotta poke the bulb. I'm like, okay, it's starting to get a little janky. It's 25 fucking years old, or more. I don't even know when I got it. But I got it <laughs> 20 plus fucking years ago, okay? My DVD player, I absolutely know that thing's 25 years old. I'm dating myself. I'm like, age, like everyone's like, doing the math, like DVD player. It's a five disc changer. Like, they don't, they haven't made those in like 100 fucking years. Fuck, I have a TV that's got a DVD player built into it. And I don't, like, not one of the, like, a flat screen TV with a DVD player in it. That shit still works. Like, but the Elgato Capture. That's how you know you're fucking old. They don't make shit like they used to back in my day. Shit lasted more than a year. And it's seriously fucking true. Because, like, my Amazon Fire TV stick, I mean, I've had that for, like, seven plus years and when it started to get annoying it wasn't working i was so angry it was 40 dollars. it's not really like okay fine i gotta get another one 40 bucks that lasted me like it's not even ten dollars a year for it. it like seriously but i was so fucking mad i'm still mad about the fact that that stupid fucking thing doesn't work right oh my god like i'm just i'm sorry but i am just used to shit working the fuck? Ugh. My eight-year-old computer works better than the Elgato capture card. Hello? I just upgraded four years ago and then upgraded again recently. I still have my fucking computer from 2002. Holy shit, that thing's almost 20 years old. What? Fuck no. Oh my god, I'm so old. All right, I'm going to need to go get a drink before we continue. Anyway... So hopefully we're going to record now and we'll be fine. And first half of this part was a cluster fuck. And the second half of this part's going to be me fucking like ranting like a crazy old fucking like, okay, nothing works anymore. Goddamn newfangled technology. God. <sighs> My birthday was recently. I really turned old for you now. It was several months ago. Cause this is probably going up in fucking December. It's still fucking October. I'm ahead. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> not at this rate. If we weren't in the middle of his route, I'd be like, I'm done. I need to quit for like a week or two just to get over. Not because of the game, because I love this fucking game. It's this goddamn capture card driving me fucking bonkers. But anyway, I'm going to reread this line because it started skipping at this point. So hey, your eyes are shining differently. You like the boat that much. I just didn't want to cut out my awesome like, oh, this beautiful bastard. Whatever the hell I said. But anyway, well, And I hope the music sound... I think the music sounds decent. Um, I had I tested it a few things, so it might be a little bit louder than it was in earlier parts, or I don't know. But, like, we're using a different thing. So it's just, it's, you should be able to hear me and the music at a decent... It's not like the music's not overpowering me. I'm overpowering the music. That's normal, but whatever. Anyway. He must have noticed that I secretly enjoyed the experience. I know I shouldn't be happy, considering the circumstances, but... It was my first time on a boat. I don't mind. If you're my woman, I'd rather you have all the courage. We're like, I thought I was... Oh my god, her hand is on his chest. I just noticed. Hi, hey, girl. Yang's smiles seem different. He actually looks reasonably not pissed off. It's amazing. It wasn't his usual sneer, but a natural expression that showed he was enjoying himself. Why is my heart pounding? Because he's hot as fuck. We've also seen him half naked, so just saying. We get regular shipments from the mainland. And they're all shipments of guns and drugs. Things we can't bring through normal routes, so the ships can't be docked. So you're smuggling things in? <laughs> this is like honestly, for me, I don't mind Yang at all, and I don't mind this. Okay. 
I mean, yes, the moral compass is like, uh, it's like flying off the radar here. No, but sure, I'm going to pretend I'm an MC. Like, I'm the Atome heroine. Okay, sure, smuggling guns and drugs. I mean, we're dating a mafia man. Okay, I just can't see her being okay with this in any way, shape, or form. So, an odd pairing, if anything. But I'm glad they put him in, because I love him. Part of me was in shock, and Yang's eyes thinned as if he were having fun. You're quick. I had a feeling that it wasn't a normal business deal. This was a true crime scene. As I realized it, my heart began to grow heavy. I had become accustomed to being by Yang's side, but I still hated the violence and the drugs that caused people pain. Yeah, I mean, our rather mafia boyfriends were actually kind of, like, nice about shit and cared about the people, and they were actually doing, like, the right thing in the wrong way, I guess. Chapter 5. Unexpected. Falling in love with him? That's unexpected. The ship set sail, avoiding the reef in the shadows of a rocky cliffside. There was a boat waiting for us there. I never knew such a place existed. You can't see it from the port. The Lao shoes seemed to be importing illegal items from their home country. When the two boats approached one another, the crew sent a rope and planks between them. Now it's time for the deal. Hold on to my arm and show them you belong to me. Don't look so unwilling. You make me want to push you over. I wouldn't put it past him. That's not funny. I couldn't hide my distaste as I took his arm. Yang smiled as if he were having fun. That's the little yandere right there. Like, the, I'll, I'll push you in the water. You're a dick. <laughs> Just a little bit. Using the boards connecting the ships, the mainland crew crossed over to us. They and Yang spoke together in a Chinese language. I have no idea what they're talking about. Here's the weird thing. These boats went fast, because I'm just thinking China to Italy would take a while, don't you think? I mean, and yet he somehow managed to order a stuffed panda from us. Like, he somehow, like, ring, ring, hey, so can you get me a stuffed panda? And it was magically here when less, we've only been with him a month. It was less than a month. Like, he FedExed that shit. I don't... Can you... Did you DHL that? Like, how the fuck did that ha Loophole. I mean, I, you would think that they p would maybe... If I thought he would have gone out and bought it, maybe. But he's like, I ha I ordered it. You ordered? Weird. Anyway, whatever. I have no idea what they're talking about. I felt a little uncomfortable. After they spoke, the Lao Shu men guided the messengers to the back of the boat. I want to check this shipment. Come with us. Oh. This was when I truly understood. Their deal wasn't just receiving products, but an exchange of something else as well. Oh, God, is this where we're going to show the women? Oh, dear God. I don't I don't think we can handle that. I, I would feel... Can we not? Can we opt to not? Because if you're going to show me that you're selling people to them... It's going to be really... I'm going to feel really guilty about being in love with you still. <laughs> that would be unexpected. So, would it be money? Or... Oh, God, it is. What? From one of the cabins of, that the Lao Shu opened, a girl came tumbling out. The girl seemed desperate as she grasped onto the member nearby. Caramella! Give me some... A Caramella! Hey! Don't come out without permission. Go back inside and wait. No, I don't want to. Please, I'll do anything. The girl's hair was messed up and she started to scream. The member clicked his tongue, kicking the girl and roughly throwing her back inside. It doesn't matter that they're drugged up. They got them drugged up to be able to sell them easier. And oh my fucking God, we're human trafficking now. Okay, well, I would have... You know what? Can we just go back to when we thought he was going to sexually assault us? Because I'm... I I was prepared for that. I don't know if I can handle this. That's... Wait. The shipment. My unpleasant feelings gradually became real. I felt myself go pale. I timidly looked over at Yang, who casually said something unbelievable to me. 
Our Western women sell for a high price in Asia. Sell for a high price? Stops. How can I market my son? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh god. The young ones nowadays just leave what they once called home without a hint of remorse. Oh! Yes. Last month, my friend Viola left, and this month it was Eliza. Both of them came to the church to tell us of their departure. I suppose they were excited to see the city. But why would they come and tell you, Hi, we're leaving! I'm being sold! I realized another possibility. I couldn't hide my confusion and awkwardly spoke up. There have been many girls disappearing from Berlone lately. There's not going to be any women left, and you're all going to have to be gay soon if you keep selling the ladies. I'm just saying. Maybe, like, the supply is going to cut off at some point. Everyone assumed that they wanted to leave this boring town and go to the city, but... Clever girl. I remembered that I asked him to save Elena once before. Besides... Her situation could be worse. This is what he must have meant back then. He must be saying that Elena was better off here than the fate this girl would face. Okay. Is one of our bad endings... I... Okay. One of our bad endings, he's gonna sell us, isn't he? We're gonna be human trafficked. Oh, God. I don't know why that's scarier... Then Yang assaulting us. Maybe because I love him and it's like, I, I'm okay with it. In reality, no, I don't want to be assaulted at all, thank you very much. Or human trafficked. I don't want to be either one of those things. But in the sense of the game, right here. Um, Yang, you can do whatever the fuck you want with me, hi. Uh, but don't human traffic me. <laughs> I don't want to be sold. I don't want any of it. No, thank you. Because then someone else is going to do all the horrible things that he's going to do. But at least with him, I'm like, okay, fine. I'll take it! You- no! 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 Oh god. His bad endings are gonna be traumatic, I know it. Like, Nicola's bad ending was traumatic, but in like a... I don't- this is sad and kind of fucked up, but I like it. <sighs> like, what is wrong with me? Like, it was like, fucked up but kind of dark and sexy. You were like, I can- okay. This is- alright. These are not gonna be that way. It's gonna be like, oh god! Like, Dante's was like the, oh, I'm so sad, I'm gonna cry. And his are gonna be like, I don't like this at all, I'm scared. Mommy, I'm scared. I'm gonna call my mom and be like, Mom, I'm scared. I played a game and it scared me and I'm traumatized. I need therapy now. I have a feeling. I just, I don't know. I'm kind of concerned. Anyway. I was standing face to face with the depths of darkness that existed in this town. And I kind of love him. <laughs> That's the hard part. Not only were they dealing in weapons and drugs, but they also sold live humans as products. Yeah, the weapons and drugs, you can be like, I mean, I just pretend the humans is the uh, kind of fucked up part, because one wrong move and you're one of them. You're like, I'd, please, if you get tired of me, kill me. I realized that the Lao Shu were dabbling in more inhumane business than I imagined. That's horrible. Those girls, they did nothing wrong. How could you addict them to drugs to imprison them and sell them to another country? I'm sure none of them ever wished for a fate like this. Push Yang off boat. I was so angry and sad and completely helpless. I couldn't contain my frustrations. He's not going to kill you if he gets sick of you. I'm just saying. Blonde hair, blue eyes, your ass is getting sold. I pressed Yang, but he remained silent. His face drew near, almost to the point where it could touch mine. His golden eyes looked straight at me, and he whispered in a low and threatening tone, Yes, I told you. Be quiet. To think so much of others, you must not understand your own situation. It seems you've forgotten your position here. Yang sneered, and his eyes narrowed as if he were testing me. I mean, it's true. We're like talking to him like, like we're talking to Dante or Nicola, where they might... I'll consider what you have to say. Your ass is going to end up sold right now. It's not that. I know that telling you won't change your mind, nor would you save them. But even so, seeing such a horrible thing unfold in front of me, I can't just watch and say nothing. 
My heart felt so much pain, and my eyes welled with tears. She's strong, though. Like, I mean, because, like, she's got balls to be like, I can't just say nothing, even though, oh, well, you know, it'd probably be better to say nothing. Like, everyone else would be like, oh, I'm terrified, I'm horrified, this is awful, I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut so I don't end up in that situation. How noble of you. The Lao Shu and you are too cruel. Do you not realize that? Oh, he's shocked at us. For a second, his eyes wavered slightly. He doesn't want us to think he's cruel. Huh. You believe it's only natural to understand this? I see. So you're saying I lack it. Yang? I couldn't understand what he was saying. My brow furrowed, and just then... Uh, suddenly, a loud sound roared into my ears, and the ship began to shake. Oh, damn. No! I can't stay up! The the book? I think it's supposed to be the boat. Shook roughly, and I lost my balance. I almost fell into the deck when... I like that the book sh shook roughly. The book shook? Tim! Tim! The fuck, bro? We're on a boat. We ain't on a book. Your imagination is crazy, man. He's like, well, you know. Gang held my waist with his arm, as if I were a piece of luggage he was holding steady. He muttered as though the rumbling roar didn't bother him at all. They're here. Faster than I expected. What's going- Shut your mouth. Still holding me, Yang jumped into the sea. I felt a shock as if I were being stabbed by needles all over, but I couldn't scream. I realized it was the cold of the ocean water. He gonna fucking swim for it. The muffled roar sounded again, and I was swept away by the violent currents. It hurts. As the current calmed, my waist was grabbed. Okay, I need a CG of him dripping fucking wet. I'm sorry. <gasps> Yang had pulled me up out of the water, and I desperately gasped for air. Focus on breathing out or you'll swallow seawater. I followed his suggestion, breathing out as I looked around for the ship. The boat we were just on was burning red against the darkness of the night. What happened to the girls on the boat? You know what? This, Spacey, is the chance where they're probably better off dead than hooked on drugs and being sold into sex slavery. I'm just saying. One for me in the I'd rather be dead than be lured into taking drugs to get so dependent on drugs that you can sell me into sex slavery. Just saying. Okay. If I had a choice, rather be dead, thanks. Mm -mm, nah, that's, I don't want to live that way. I looked carefully and saw a silhouette or two coming out of the boat cabins. But I didn't hear anyone jump in. I couldn't do anything. Oh, Orlock? Oh, it's Dante. Oh, interesting. Oh, there she blows. <laughs> Told you we were right to come here. Gilbert held the binoculars in one hand as he spoke in a happy mood. Oh my god, they blew up! They did it, didn't they? That's Germany's invention, all right. Back in the Great War, it supposedly sunk 36 boats. Pretty fun toy, don't you think? German invention! A reference to the explosive desi device de design- Wow, I cannot read anymore. Device designed by a German chemist, better known as the pencil bomb. It was made in the form of a cylinder internally separated by a circular... Oh, I was trying to move my thumb thingy in. I don't know why the little thummy pad doesn't work in this game. It's so bizarre. Anyway. Uh, uh, it was made in the form of a cylinder internally separated by a circular copper disc. The bomb would explode when the acids in each chamber mixed uh, with the erosion of the copper disc. Oh, whoops. Wait, we missed one, didn't we? All right, we did. The Great War. The Great European War spanning from 1914 to 1918. Gilbert smiled with satisfaction and I looked straight at him. However, there was a slight difference from what I anticipated. It took longer between the explosion and when the engine ignited. Only 10 or 20 seconds, right? That's not a gap. <laughs> Boys. But we're dealing with Yang. And those seconds could give him enough warning to escape. They're trying to blow up and kill you. You almost killed me, asshole! They didn't know I was there, but... We can't say this mission was a success until we find his body. Right. Well, it looks like it's time to send our boats for phase two. 
We'll have our men look for Yang's body and see if there are any survivors nearby. They actually did that kind of, though, in Gilbert's route. No, not Gilbert's route. We didn't do Gilbert's route. Um, I was thinking we were hanging out at Gilbert's house. Gilbert did it. Didn't he mention something about blowing up the ships or getting rid of the ships? It was in Dante's route, I think. But Gilbert basically did this. We just had no idea. So that kind of still happened. <laughs> anyway, I couldn't do anything. I felt suffocated by how powerless I was. I could only watch as the flames lit the night sky and smoke rose from the ship. The ship we were on had suddenly exploded, and the ship alongside it had sunk as well. The autumn night had chilled the seawater. In the piercing cold, I wondered what would become of us. Just then, a new boat arrived and pulled Yang and me out of the water. Um... But if you had let Lee go, Lee would have blown up, and then he would have been out of your hair, but... You know. This, the bomb, and the, the boat blowing up was also unexpected. There's a lot of unexpected shit happening in the title in a chapter called Unexpected, and I appreciate that. That was some explosion. Really, really? He was like a fireworks show! Could you imagine if the boat had fireworks on it? That would have been amazing. Lan was talking with excitement and approached us with a large bath towel. As she, and she swiftly patted my drenched body. But I still couldn't stop shaking. My whole body was shaking and my teeth chattered violently. I mean, the fear of almost dying combined with the freezing cold was nearly unbearable. Can I fully understand that. Let's dry off. We need to warm you up or you'll uh, warm you up faster or you'll freeze to death. I couldn't answer Lan, and I just looked at Yang. I desperately tried to keep my lips from trembling as I spoke. What ha happened back there? Yang was drying his wet body with the towel and answered matter-of-factly. I assume it's either the Falzone or Redford. Actually, it could be both. I'm sure they were trying to get me killed. And they think that if I die, the Lao Shu would collapse. But they blew up the whole ship! Did they not realize there were girls in there who were completely innocent? Yang smiled. And don't underestimate them. And there's no way they didn't know that. But most of all, I suppose there was one thing they didn't anticipate, which was unexpected for them. Yang muttered and glanced over at me. It was unexpected for the, that I was going to be on the ship to them. See, so many unexpected things. I love it. <laughs> With this incident, I felt like everything I knew about this world came crashing down. I thought both the Falzone and the Visconti wouldn't cause harm to the civilians. Uh, lesser of two evils, I think is what they're thinking, but... They would never hurt the kind, religious people of Berlone. They weren't like the Lao Shu. Or so I thought. At the end of the day, they, too, were mafia. Yeah, they're, they're better, but at the same time, they're like, uh... We take out the boat and kill Yang, and we might kill some innocent people, but we killed Yang, and that's probably better for the town than letting him run loose just to save some people who are going to just be sold off. I mean, if you think about it. Yes. Oh my god, they killed all those girls! They would have been sold into sex slavery, basically. A life dependent on the drugs and basically be... You know, I mean, sure... Being able to live their lives free and not being, you know, lured into drugs and sold. Sure, that that's the best outcome. But they've now already been stuffed on a boat and are about to be sold. So, like, what's the better outcome? Dante and Gilbert blow them up and kill Yang? Or they let Yang go and then these poor women are sold? I'm just saying. Like, at the point we're at now, this was probably the better outcome. See? I could be in the mafia. I think these things. Like, yeah, I mean, sure, the better outcome is like everybody lives their happy lives, do 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 do, goes about their business, and nobody's like hopped up on drugs or being sold. But that's not the way it's going right now, so. You know, we can only back up so far. The Berlode Mafia were criminals, not a charitable institution. I was given a stern reminder of that fact. I think it's funny that in Yang's rut, she's like, they're all evil, instead of, like, when we're actually in, like, Dante and Nicola's rut, you're like, I mean, you do bad things, but, like, you're kind of good at the end of the day. Like, you're good but evil? It's weird. Yeah. 
But who would have thought they had explosives? I wonder where they got their intel. Truly interesting. Not only did they know how we deal in the location, but the exact date and time. That was unexpected. Yang grinned. Really? <laughs> that was unexpected? Really? I mean, yes, also, again, this chapter's just so full of it, I love it. <laughs> Are you doubting me? Yang looked down at me as if trying to read my thoughts. He seemed to know that an attack was about to occur. The reason Fei and Lan came over so quickly was because you had them on standby, right? Oh, that's true, you walked out of the room with them. I can't help but think you expected this attack from the very start. Yang stared at me quietly and eventually smiled. I've never thought this before, but I feel you and I are alike. What? Wow! Oh, what a compliment! Congratulations, Space! Yeah, I'm surprised, too. I never heard Yang say a thing like that to, no to a woman. Is this something to be happy about? If we return to the port, I'm sure there are men waiting there who'll shoot us. And they must be sending boats out now to find my body. Then what are we going to do? Fortunately, the moon's hiding tonight. We can go north and dock outside the city. We'll return to Berlone by foot. Got it! I'll go tell the others. The end. Okay, I'm not 100% sure. This part's been like third, and I think with the other, I think we're at about an hour. It might be a little bit under. I'm not really sure because of all of the it, it, it skipping and the things that I have to cut and edit. So I'm, but this is a good enough place to stop. I'm going to stop here. Hopefully this worked and there wasn't any uh, 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 talk and like, I don't know. <sighs> But anyway, I mean, hey, we got to work around, so <laughs> now we don't have to stress and record five minutes, stop, record five minutes, stop, record five, because that's a lot of editing and good Lord. Anyway, um, so we'll see, but I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.